Welcome to Capital City Academy, based in Brent in northwest London. So the solar panels on the roof, um, most of it is used directly here in the school and whatever's left over is sent back to the national grid. There are twofold benefits of that. One, it saves the school thousands of pounds a year, which then, one, allows us to redistribute that money saved across the school and make a big difference. At the same time, we've got solar panels and we're saving the environment, so it's great. Brent Pure Energy organises the installation of solar panels on schools and other community buildings. We have installed a lot of solar panels on the school. Our largest installation yet, and it's the fourth installation we've done since 2015. The benefit to the school is that we supply them with renewable energy produced by the sun, and it's a lot cheaper than the electricity they're buying for the grid. Um, our future generation is kind of endangered because obviously as young people we're 100% the future and to see that the world is almost in like a state of decay it's kind of sad to see that we're not doing enough to help the environment. Yeah, I believe that our school should be able to cover more topics on climate change and global warming because as this is such a big topic in this world right now, especially in five years time, ten years time, we, um, we should be more aware of what's really going to happen, what's really happening at this moment, at this time, and what we can do to help um, battle this situation. It's incorporated into the curriculum and we teach it, but I'm not entirely sure whether the urgency of it comes across. So we know the science behind it, we teach the science behind it, I teach the science behind it, but I think it comes down to imposing upon the next generation the urgency with which we have to take these actions to prevent the global warming effect. They can advertise walking to school to stop younger students and students in general taking unnecessary bus journeys because bus journeys and traffic is a big factor contributing to air pollution and global warming. So I think as a school we have a responsibility socially and that includes towards climate change as well. So I think quite a few of our staff members we cycle to work and so what's really beneficial for us is having a secure bike shed where we can store our bicycles. This year we've switched from plastic cutlery, which we were using last year, to wooden cutlery and recyclable packages that we present our lunches in. There are new technologies coming online which mean that we can offer a better deal. For example, battery storage. That would vastly increase the amount of energy we can supply to schools. Uh, Brent Pure Energy is very much involved with addressing climate change. Uh, we're doing our best to try and prevent it happening. It's, it's a small contribution, but uh, it's a valid one, we think. Uh, we're trying to introduce as much renewable energy uh, on a community scale as possible. I feel like our government needs to lead our nation towards the better steps of a better future and planet for our generations and the generations to come. We need more investment from the government in renewable energy and for the government to raise awareness that can help the public understand that we need to do more.